Hi there. Been a while because uh, we moved to a new office, new home, uh, so everything is still in bits. That's why the videos have been a bit slow. But um, today I want to show you how you can live stream your drone footage, both as a clean feed or with the telemetry uh, showing. There's a few different solutions. Specifically, because the uh, DJI Neo came out, that's been very, very interesting for, for something like that. It's small, it's compact, it's neat. But also with something like the, uh, like the Mavic 3, um, same thing, and also bigger cameras. So, first of all, to be able to live stream with the DJI Neo um, and any of the other drones, you will need a controller. The app control of the DJI Neo will not allow you to, to live stream unless you do a screen recording with that. But otherwise you won't be able to do that. So if you bought the Fly More combo, you've got the RCNC3 controller. You can pair that up with an Android phone or an iPhone, and then you will be able to RTMP live stream the feed out from the phone to either direct or to Moblin or to Box. You will only be able to get a clean feed. And there is a couple caveats. On the iPhone, you only get, you get 1080p and 720p, but you only get two and one megabit bit rates, which is not great. On Android, funnily enough, you get the same 1080p or 720p, but you get five megabit and three megabit bit rates, which is a lot better. The second solution then is the RC2. So that is a controller with a built in screen. It runs its own little Android thing. Unfortunately, RTMP streaming, it will only do 720p. So the RCNC3 is a better choice if you want to use RTMP streaming. But what you can do with this, um, and this is a way of, of also showing your viewer the, the telemetry, is you can use something like an anchor uh, USB C to HDMI ad a dongle and you plug that in. And then you run a HDMI lead out to your encoder, and that can be any encoder. It can be Live View, that can be a KiloView P3, that can be a Bela Box, um, or it can be Moblin if you have an iPad and you have a UVC capture. And that will then come with telemetry. So I'll show you, there's a few things to consider there. I'll show you how that works. Um, the other option then is obviously for my Mavic 3, I have the DJI RC Pro, the first generation of those. This thing will be able to RTMP stream um, in 1080p and 720p, but it also has a mini HDMI connector. And you can tell it if you want a clean feed or a feed with telemetry on the HDMI. So that's the best solution. Unfortunately, the Neo doesn't support any of the Pro controllers at the moment. So for the Neo, that's not an option, but for the Mavic 3 and for some of the minis, great option. So I'll show the setup process and um, we'll start with the um, DJI uh, RCNC3 um, show you how it's set up both in Moblin and in, in, in the controller and we get a little flight going and then I go through the other controllers afterwards. There will be uh, chapter markers down below and um, yeah, let's get going. So the first thing we do then is we'll uh, fire up Moblin. I find that here. The first thing we need to do is we need to go into the settings and we need to create a RTMP server. And create that. And name this uh, name this fly. Done. Stream key. I always just call that simplicity, I call that fly. Done. Auto select MIG. No, we don't want to do that. Um, I'm taking the microphone from, from the camera. So, and then we enable that, and that's the RTMP part done. And go out of settings. We create a scene, create again, um, fly, which is the um, okay, so 
call this fly okay okay empty settings back to the font screen next thing is the personal hotspot so we go in here and we go to the settings to show you where it is personal hotspot is here and password I've set to password enable that okay that's password Nope, one too much. We are connected. And then we go back into the DJI Fly app and we start the controller. So, the next thing we do is we go back into settings we go to RTMP server and we go to this is enabled now we go down here we click on fly and we have here the details from the uh, from the RTMP and you can see that personal hotspot one is 172 2010 one and that's the one we want so the, the bottom one here is, is the one we want so in DJI fly tap the three dots here in the top right then go to transmission live streaming platforms RTMP and I need to change this set some old settings 172 dot 20 dot 10 dot one live and fly I don't need to use the port 1935 because that's the standard port so that's okay I want 1080p and I want 5 megabit and I say uh, start okay microphone is available that's okay and you can see in the top there that red one that says it's streaming so if we go out of the settings here and we go to fly yeah, we have have the camera. So um, let's go. Uh, let's go outside um, and show how this is uh, streaming. Okay, and we'll start OBS. Okay, let's let's go outside and see what we get. Go live. Okay. Confirm. So we have data point now and ready to fly.
so with the DJI Fly app on iOS, um, we go into Go Fly, uh, go to the settings, go to transmission, live stream platform RTMP, and you can see only two meg and one megabit are available. I have tested this on Lightning and USB C, and unfortunately, it's the same on both. But on Android, it's five megabit and three megabit. So iOS isn't great for RTMP live streaming. So with the DJI RC2, the sequence is sort of important. Um, so the first thing we do is we fire up the remote. If the drone is already on, the DJI fly, uh, fly app will go into the live view mode and you will not get a HDMI feed from that. So you need to go out into the main screen then again. I leave the drone off for now so that it doesn't go into the live view. It stays in the main screen. The controller is started up now. We're waiting for the screen. So that's the main screen. There's uh, normally, if you're in the live view, there's a, an error up in the top left that you can get back out again. But you need to be in this screen when you plug in the USB-C dongle with the with the HDMI cable. And we have a screen, so that's good. So now I can fire up the drone. and it connects and it goes into live view. What you see on the screen right now is the view that you basically would be streaming if you use the USB-C dongle with the HDMI cable. That's the, uh, the the drone view with the telemetry and everything. Now I can show you if I go up here and then tap the three dots and I go into transmission and then live stream platform RTMP. And as you can see, you have five and three megabit like on Android but you only have 720p available as, as your resolution so that's a bit of a of a downside so it might be better if, if you have an android phone and the rc and uh, nc3 controller to use that and get 1080p but otherwise this is actually a very good solution and you get the ability to uh, to stream with the telemetry which for many might be actually something that's desired so and for the DJI RC Pro, I unfortunately forgot the mini HDMI cable in the office. So I just show you on the controller um, without the, the screen view. So if I go in here and I go to transmission um, and go live streaming platforms, um, I have again, I have 1080p and 720p, I have five and three megabit. And then I have the other is the HDMI output. Don't know if you can see that uh, on the screen there. Uh, let me turn this around. And then as you can see there, if that is in focus, well, it's probably, yeah, okay. So I have the ability to set screen mirroring or live view only for the for the HDMI. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if uh, this is content you want to follow. And I'll see you another time. Bye.